Good morning, YouTube. What's up, guys? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. Today, I'm doing a shoe that I couldn't resist running in because I know a lot of you have asked me about it. You've told me to review it. You've said great things about it. So I'm just, oh, there goes my hood. I'm just giving you what you're asking for. Today, I'm gonna be running in the ASICS Nova Blast. I've really been enjoying what ASICS has been doing lately. I love the Nimbus Light. The Cumulus 22 is pretty good. And uh, we're gonna talk all about this, this right here today. It's a really ugly day out there. It's wet. It's gloomy. It's not really ideal. But regardless, we're gonna lace these up, we're gonna go for a run, and then we're gonna talk all about my first, second, my, my initial impressions of the ASICS Nova Blast. everyone don't get crazy I know that jumping in puddles is completely Kofuzi's thing but I didn't really have a choice because there was nowhere else to go so I figured I'd see what it looks like in slow motion also can we just notice for a second that I'm wearing a t-shirt maybe the weather on the east coast is finally starting to turn around let's hope all right, so I know you guys are all here for the initial impressions of the ASICS Nova Blast. So we're gonna go over that right now. I have about 10 and a half miles in this shoe and I think I'm ready to give you my initial thoughts. I've been running in a lot of ASICS shoes since I started this channel. The Glide Ride, the Evo Ride, the Nimbus, the Nimbus Lite, the Cumulus 22. I've done it all, except for the Meta Racer. My one kind of complaint with them has been that the midsoles kind of fall flat. To me, there's nothing really super special about Flight Foam. The Nimbus Light was a step in the right direction. They changed it up with that cellulose nanofiber stuff and it feels a little softer underfoot. But overall, I haven't been super in love with Flight Foam until Flight Foam Blast. If you're a person that always hates on ASICs and says they don't have anything innovative, they don't have anything cool, their foam is dead, it's boring, it's this, be quiet and try the Nova Blast. So before I get into my thoughts on this shoe, let's go over the specs. This shoe is 7.8 ounces for a women's size that isn't specified on the ASICs website, but for my size 10 and a half, this shoe was 9.44 ounces. Seems like it's on the hefty side, but I really didn't feel that while I was running. The Nova Blast has a 10 millimeter drop with 31 millimeters of stack in the heel and 21 in the forefoot. And for all of you wondering, for me, this shoe is true to size. 
ASICS is using a multi-directional engineered mesh in the Nova Blast. I found the upper to be pretty comfortable. I didn't have any problems with hotspots or anything like that. It's fairly breathable, but I feel like it could be a little more so. And I think that issue stems from the multi-directional part of the upper. There's just layers of mesh here, and maybe if they got rid of one of those layers or figured out a better way to do this, it would be a little bit lighter of a shoe. The laces are thin. It's not my favorite lacing system. The tongue is the perfect amount of padding. The heel counter is sturdy for a good heel lockdown. There's no pull tab, but I've kind of given up talking about that because ASICS never has pull tabs. And around the heel area, there's padding, but it's not so beefed up like in other ASICS shoes. It's just enough. But I do want to kind of talk about the fit of this shoe. I did say that it's true to size, and it is, but there's a lot of volume up here. There's lots of room for your toes to splay, but I have a pretty narrow foot, as I always say, and I kind of felt like I was swimming a little bit. This engineered mesh material is stiff and it doesn't really conform to your foot at all. The way it looks here is the way it's gonna stay. So I'm not sure if this is a versatile upper that will fit a bunch of different foot shapes. Okay, so moving on to the star of this shoe, the midsole. ASICS is using a full length flight foam blast material and it is dynamite. If you've ever stepped foot into an ASICS and been underwhelmed, step your foot into the Nova Blast and you will feel otherwise. This midsole material is bouncy, lightweight, responsive, cushioned. It's everything that I could ever ask for in a midsole material. Apparently ASICS made this interesting pattern to just help make it feel like a trampoline. And honestly, this shoe really does feel like a trampoline. If I had to compare this midsole to something else on the market, I would say it's kind of like Power Run Plus. To me personally, this kicks Hyperburst out of the park. It's kind of like Fuel Cell, but a little bit softer. I don't know, it's just really good. You can see here the heel is beveled and the forefoot is curved upward, giving you a nice roll forward in your stride for a snappy quick turnover and toe off. And yes, it, it just works beautifully. I love a rocker technology. You might love a rocker technology. This shoe has it and it has an amazing midsole. One negative I will say about the Nova Blast is that it's not really stable. Around turns and anything that's not really in a straight line, you kind of get a little bit iffy. I'm a person that does sometimes need some extra stability. And when I was watching the footage back from my run, I did see my ankle kind of caving inward a little bit more than it normally does. But I don't, ha I don't know, I don't have any pain. I don't really care. It is what it is. But if you're a person who does care about that and you do want some stability, this might not be it. But regardless of that, Flight Foam Blast is a huge winner for me. This is honestly like the midsole of my dreams. ASICS knocked it out of the park. And I really hope that they're gonna put Flight Foam Blast in more of their shoes. Please, ASICS, if you're listening, please use this in more stuff. Whew, all right, let's start talking about the outsole. The outsole of the Nova Blast is AHAR Plus material. According to ASICS, the AHAR Plus outsole is 50% more durable than the standard ASICS high abrasion rubber. And I do have to say the traction was pretty solid. My first run in the shoe was a dry day. I did take it on some pavement, a little bit of dirt. It held up totally fine. My second run in the Nova Blast, it was a pretty wet day outside. It was super slick out there. The AHAR gripped on that surface and I had no slipping problems. Can I say that I really feel the 50% extra durability? I didn't really feel it, but that doesn't make it a bad thing. I guess what's really going to determine how much more durable this AHAR rubber is from the standard is just having it for a long period of time and seeing how it holds up. Whoa, hey there. I forgot to mention this in my actual video, so here I am editing on my couch and I'm just gonna throw in this clip. If you're interested in the ASICS Nova Blast, Running Warehouse has you covered. Just go to the description down below, click the link and pick up your own pair. They're $129.95 on their website. It's a steal for a really versatile shoe that can do it all. Pick up the pair. It is an affiliate link, but that doesn't really mean much for you. It just helps out my channel, which I always appreciate. So yeah, go do that, thanks. I'd take this over the glide ride for sure. And that shoe is more money, I think. I'm so excited to put more miles in this shoe. I'm so excited to do a full review on it. I'm really eager to get more miles in it. It excites me to run in the Nova Blast. I'm excited.
Well guys, that concludes my first run impressions of the ASICS Nova Blast. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit that notifications bell down below so you can find out every time I upload a new video. I have another video for you guys next week, but in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, only socially distance, and don't forget to run like heller. See you next time.